Welcome to Snagshaw, the home of new build inspections. Okay guys, so we're inside now, we're going to be starting in the entrance hall, same as usual, looking for all areas of damage, checking out the slab, making sure everything's within tolerance, checking out the front door, making sure everything's installed correctly, it's operating nicely for the homeowner, and yeah, just a general check, so let's get into it, and as always, we will show you around some of the bits we find. Let's dance. Take a quick look at this, the lining, the board through, Completely out of plumb. By the time we pull that level, it's over 12 millimeters out. Now this is exceeding NHBC tolerance. So the board really kicks out above the head reveal. And it looks quite poor when you stood on this angle looking up. So this really needs to be adjusted. Okay, so let's take a look around at some of the items we've found. So as you can see on this keychain, these fixings, have not been secured back. That needs to be addressed. This is actually loose and not secured to the frame correctly. We've got some light surface scratches on this door. Looks like they've attempted to repair it. Um, you see the underside of the board has not been painted. We've got some damage to this door hinge. That's gonna need to be replaced. A few decorative drips that need to be improved. We've obviously got this boarding that is kicked out at the top. Looks quite poor, 12 mil, out of plumb, over 1200. As we move around, have a look at a few more little bits. Um, screw cap, cover for the switch plate. We've got paint over this. This all needs to be cleaned off. A few decorative touch-ups here or there. And that is it for the entrance all. So let's move into the lounge see what we can find. Okay, so we're inside the lounge now, so same old checks, um, check the floor, walls, ceiling, checking the finishes, looking for any damage on these window frames, the glazing, making sure that they operate correctly, checking out all the electrical outlets, making sure everything's installed the way it should be. Let's get into that. Just a few items to note in the lounge. Checking out the doors, you can see the supplied ironmongery has not been installed. So we've got the through bolts, which we really do need, but we want these additional fixings because over time, these just work loose. And that's not what we want to see, is it? There we go. Um, Couple of little issues around here. The underside of the window boards, bit of a pet eight of mine, um, have not been painted. That needs to be addressed. The radiator brackets are loose, uh, need to be secured back. We've got paint build up and residue on a lot of the UPVC components on that window. A few decorative issues. All in all, what we would just class as very standard snagging in this space. So. Let's move on into the downstairs toilet. Right, inside the downstairs toilet, so obviously we've got some sanitary wear to check over, look for areas of um, damage, um, check the tiling out, we've obviously got floor and wall tiling, ceiling application, what's that looking at? Decorative finish, is everything up to standard? Already got a section of the hinge missing there, check the extract fan, check for leaks. All the juicy stuff. So get into this one, I'll show you what we find in this space in a few moments. So just a quick look around, you can see we've got the section of this door hinge missing. What that does, it keeps it in place and you can also adjust it on here. See we've got a bit of paint build up on the hinge which is not great. Got paint application to the wall tiles. This needs to be cleaned off. Sealant, you can see it's quite poor in areas. That needs to be tidied. Got some grout residue on the tiles. That just needs to be cleaned off. We've got here, you can see, it might be difficult to see, but it's been a cutout here. So 
it's quite obvious when you stand back it doesn't pick it up fully on the camera but that is some works that definitely needs to be improved so all in all we've got a small space so we wouldn't want to find a lot of issues in here um, but sometimes we do but today we would see this is as pretty standard snagging not too bad so let's moving into the hallway store cupboard and you can see we've got some inconsistent paint application to the woodwork and then as we move in the space this painter is definitely been trying to save on paint throughout this property so this hasn't even been filled no preparation this is just a standard undercoat well it's not even undercoat is it primed um, mdf so yeah they've been trying to save a little bit on here this has not been completed and needs to be addressed and get it finished off for the homeowner um, you can see we've got this bit of a band detail so that's filler compound just needs to be lightly sanded back recoat that wall and it'll be looking spot on so we move into the utility moving into the utility we've uh, checked the appliance spaces making sure that everything is correct um, first thing to note obviously no door stop so we're going to get some damage there that needs to be addressed we've got all residue on the handles these need to be cleaned off for the homeowner inside we've got the protective base you can see that this is cracked in the corner it needs to be replaced done a plumbing test check the overflow everything seems to be acceptable we've got paint splashes all over the solid surface worktop all this needs to be cleaned off now look at the alignment doesn't look great especially when you walk in the room so we need to align them electrical components nice little cut in after that we've got some yeah, paint application on the receiver plate we've got paint build up along the frame just needs to be cleaned not a million mile off to be fair not looking too bad at the moment so we move on to the best room in the house apparently kitchen time right we're into the kitchen now so absolutely beautiful kitchen inside this property we're going to be checking making sure that it's installed correctly we're going to be looking for damage checking for any tolerances that may have been breached along the way and yeah then just a general look at the room Checking the windows, French doors, installed correctly, there is damage, you name it, we're going to be checking it, let's get into it. So checking out a few things inside the dining and kitchen area, you can see we've got some filler compound there, at a fixing point that's not been sanded back and sorted. If we look at the door, you can see it's rattling in the receiver, I've had this rose off, we've got missing fixings we've got the two through bolts again but missing fixings that needs to be addressed looking at these electrical components bit of a bugbear of mine you can see completely different heights that needs to be addressed we've got paint on the down lights that needs to be cleared off moving down towards the kitchen a multiple of the units we've got paint splashes all over Let me try and focus on that oh, what's up with my camera Paint splashes all over the unit doors in multiple areas. That needs to be cleaned off. We've got fittings absolutely buried in filler compound. That needs to be addressed. Where else are we? Um, we've got residue all over the unit doors. This could be one or two things basically. It, can, it may have been cleaned with like a dirty cloth and it's left residue on. It may have been cleaned with an incorrect product. So. We need to get the cleaners back to have a look at that and get that addressed. If we look around the top of the upstand, it might be difficult to see, but we've got multiple areas of staining. So this just needs to be cut in nice and neat, needs to be finished off. And then again, if we look at these electrical components, just look at that, they're all over the show. So these now need to be tweaked. They may need some decorative repairs around them once they have been adjusted, but stuff like that makes a big, big difference when you're looking at a property that is almost 600,000 pounds. 
So it's time to move upstairs. Let's go. So I've just completed the master bedroom and the ensuite. So I'll show you around a couple of the issues that we found. Let's go. Having a look around the bedrooms, you can see we've got filler compound here that needs to be sanded back. Same issue with the door handle we found throughout. Got damage to the door, this now needs to be filled, recoated. You can see where we've had a previous repair here, but it's not been complete. Standing back, the door red's been eased, but it's not equal. Looks quite poor when you're up close. That needs to be adjusted. Got a poor decorative finish here. Look at the woodwork. Some filler compound there that needs to be sanded back. Just some areas of flashing. Bits of improvement required. Nothing too hasty. We move into this bedroom, very similar. Electrical sockets in that level. Got a slight camber to the window board. Let's move this. Again, we've got some excessive gaps to the doors that are just not required. Bit of a poor joinery detail. In the fourth bedroom, we've got quite a camber. It's about an eight mil camber in the window board, which is a bit disappointing. It's a poor joinery detail than we would expect better in a property of this specification and value. Not too many issues in the bedrooms. Obviously there's not a lot to get wrong when we're inside these rooms. You know what I mean? We've got some basic joinery, standard um, plastering and boarding details and flat walls to finish. I mean, come on, how easy can it get? So I'm gonna move into the loft space and then we're gonna go into the externals. So just having a look around the bathroom and the first thing that caught my eye was obviously the difference in the gap. So obviously checking the bath levels, floor levels, but look at this. The bath is cracked right through. Now for me, you wouldn't want a cosmetic repair there. Anybody sitting on the side of the bath, children, anybody over a period of time and not really knowing could potentially just keep on cracking that. So would you be happy with that to be repaired? For me, you want a full replacement. Wow. So I mentioned it, didn't I? Check that restraint strap out. It's not even fixed on. Yeah, this is obviously goes without saying it's not been installed correctly because it hasn't been installed at all so that needs to be sorted as we move down to the opposite end so if we check this restraint strap out you can see this has actually been surface fixed so this should pocket inside the block work as you can see on the other ones and the reason for that is this section would normally be on the inside of the block work, tucked down, and it's basically acting as an anchor. And that's the whole point of it. So being face fixed is not ideal and not as per the design. <clears throat> yes, guys, we've now finished the internals and we're about to start on the externals. So it's quite a decent sized property. So we're gonna get straight into it and I'll show you what we find in two little minutes. Okay, so having a look straight away in the front elevation, so we can see we've got a discrepancy to one of the roof tiles in this location, so we want to get that swapped out. Let me zoom back out. You can see we've got heaps of um, cracked blocks. We need some additional sanding of the driveway. Just lined this um, brickwork through. I don't know if you can see here, but this brickwork doesn't line through too well. As you can see, not looking fantastic. We've got heaps of areas of brick damage. 
might affix all over the UPVC. You can see where they've cut the protection off and they've scratched the window casement. So that's now is going to need to be repaired. Same, we're finding it again here. Quite a few areas. You can see we've had some remedial works and then just look at the state of the block paving. This all needs to be comple completely cleaned just to improve the presentation of the front elevation. Looking at the two meter boxes, you can see this has been sealed in white sealant. This is matching to the paint application, so this needs to be adjusted. See the clean of the paving. This needs to be improved. It's consistent around the rear of the property. Everything's been ready for turf installation, but you can see we've still got sections of construction waste in there. We've got missing section of topsoil. A few little bits to sort out prior got no power to the outside sockets they've been tested we look at the secure fix in here not very secure it's difficult to show but we will fixed tight to the brickwork there you can see how the nails have just creased when they fired into the mortar so we expect there to be some improvement on that score there too